July 23rd, 2019. Another fig tasting today. Uh, the epitome of all figs, Black Madeira. This would be my first tasting of a Black Madeira. This is an in-ground LSU Champagne tree that proves to be excellent rootstock here. See where that electric tape, that's where the graft union is. This is a uh, scion that I grafted in the spring of this year, 2019. And this would be my first ripe fig. Maybe not ultra ripe, but um, droopy. And it's going to give us certainly more moisture than a fig would be if I let it wrinkle up. So just for comparison, I do want to show, this is a Black Madeira plant that I bought two years ago, planted at that time in ground from Just Fruit and Exotics. This thing has not grown at all in two years. Figs in Phoenix. You know, shoot up like crazy, put on a lot of growth. Sometimes fig varieties on their own rootstock are not going to do well in a climate. Not a bad idea to graft varieties that are weaker, like this Black Madeira, onto a proven rootstock in your climate. I have not found this variety to do well in ground here. For whatever reason. It's been given the same opportunity as other fig cultivars that have put on you know, four or five times growth in a year. And this has been in ground two years. So Black Madeira, it's a very in-demand fig across different climates. People all swear this is one of the best figs, if not the best fig in the world. Some speculate this is very close to the taste of a Figo Prado um, from first glance. Definitely appears to be similar in characteristics on the shaping of the fig. This also looks very similar to another fig called Bass's Favorite. Like most figs, I would say there are similarities to other varieties, but, you know, there are nuances that separate them. They're not exactly the same fig. So in shaping, you know, it's a little bit squat. It's got a thick neck, or skin. Uh, it does have an open eye. leaf pattern. This is a newly grafted scion, so again, don't take too much stock in the leaves. Sometimes it can take a couple years for that to normalize. But I'm going to weigh this up. Looking at 28 grams. Definitely say that this is reminiscent of the Figo Prado. It's like a beautiful fig, jammy, fig nectar. Nice red interior. All right, the very long-awaited Black Madeira. Again, this is from a grafted tree. Fairly early to ripen because of that, potentially. Because uh, I do believe um, when you graft 
onto another tree, it's going to take on some of the genetics of that tree. It's going to take on the vigor sooner than the rootstock would have if we had planted this black Madeira in the ground. As you saw, my, uh, my in-ground tree not doing so well. The cyan was grafted in February. So we're, you know, July at this point. Fairly fast to get my first fruit here. So let's try this. Wow, <laughs> that that is one excellent fig, um, buttery richness, similar to the Socorro Black. You know, not so much on the sugar content, but on the richness, the honey and the berry. No one berry stands out. This is not a strawberry fig. It's not a raspberry fig. I'm really happy to say that this, this does well here. Um, the texture is similar. I will say the black Madeira, the skin, definitely not as thick as a Figo Prado. It's actually not bad at all. It's fairly thin. Um, not so much that, you know, you don't notice it. You definitely um, can sense the thickness of the skin and the texture, but it's not thick like a Figo Prado. A beautiful fig. Recommended. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.